Welcome back to the Treasure Lee channel or my channel. I am here with the December mixed media kit, which is this sleigh, which I just put together kind of so I could visualize how I would be wanting it. Um, a bottle of silver paint, which if you've seen my advent calendar, you know that I've already broke into that some metallic red paint, a full bottle of texture powder, some diamond dust glitter, which I've also already broke into on my advent calendar, a jar of, um, let me see, metallic black, uh, I think it's a wax, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, it's a ancient wax. That's what it says, ancient wax. Um, it's from Stamperia. And I have it, I put a little bit on the lid there just so I could kind of see how it looked right there. And a couple wreaths. And some little bells. So the first thing I'm wanting to do is work on my base. Now I can't possibly just make things simple. So I am going to be kind of giving all of these a base coloring and I'm actually going to use, once I get this apart, oh, there we go, I'm going to use the rest of this Distress Oxide, uh, the Walnut Stain Distress Oxide that was in the Advent Calendar Kit. I'm going to be finishing that up on this project. Carefully take this back apart. All right, I have it all back apart. And I just have an old bowl here that I'm using. I don't know where the lid to it is, so it's being repurposed. And I'm gonna shake this up, even though it doesn't really matter, because it will all be going in. And I'm actually really going to rinse this out. I'm just putting some water in it. that little mixer ball back out of there. That's going to be kind of like my base color coming up here. And a little splash of Silver. And this is for my stash. It is just some liquid acrylic ink in titanium white.
and then kind of mix it up. going to add just a touch of red acrylic ink just to give it a little bit of a red hue. Now if you watched me do my advent calendar you know that I very much like to mix things together and kind of see what happens so This is kind of along the same thing. I'm basically making a stain for my wood pieces. I have lit my wooden pieces dry and then I decided to pull out my jelly plate to do the painting. I know it might seem strange. Why would I put all that effort into dyeing the wood if I'm going to paint over it? couple reasons. I had to do the deer. I wanted them kind of that uh, browner color. So I figured I'd throw the other pieces in just to see what would happen. Other reason, I rarely know where a project is going to lead when I start it. A lot of it is an experimentation and working towards a finished product. So here we are. And while I do like what the soaking did to my wooden pieces, um, plus, oh, the other, another reason is that soaking gets into the edges. So while I do like how it came out, I of course have to add some more. So I, I took a little experimentation and I've done the smaller pieces so far. You can see there's the back side of them. Um, I have my jelly plate. I have silver paint from the kit. And I have the red paint from the kit. But before, before I get um, to doing these, I want to separate the body of the sleigh from the tracks and I am just going to use this as artist tape so it's a low tack tape and hopefully this will work out how I how I'm wanting it to I am going to make sure now this is easier, this makes sure that the line is going to be straight. Instead of trying to line it up along the edge of my um, jelly plate, I can make sure that my lines will be nice and straight. There we go. 
I'll hold that up and add the part to that part of the sleigh there. So you can see, I give myself a little extra room so that when I do put it down, I can just make sure that the tape is at that edge. No, I put it over here. The tape is at the edge of my jelly plate, which is right there. I don't have to try to line up that on the edge of the jelly plate. So I'm going to get this one ready real quick to do the same thing. And then I will show you how I have started. Started my layering. There may be more paint going on. All right. To start, I grabbed up the silver paint and I put it on really very lightly. And roll it out all over. So you can see it's really not on there thick. Just enough that it's going to give a shiny or silver toned surface. And then I came in with my red and I put it on in two thinner layers just kind of the first layer working in on with that silver and then the second layer just to deepen it a little bit. Okay, a little ketchup. Just a little reminder that if you want, don't forget to add some paint layers to the ends of the pieces that will be showing up here. I don't know how well it'll blend in yet, we'll see. And Oh. Also, I have been working on, well, I worked on yet another experiment with my jelly plate here. I was very curious of how well you could use wax on a jelly plate. It's not completely impossible. Um, I, I don't think I'll ever do it again, but it is actually rather interesting, at least with this Stamperia wax here. But it did get to the point where I had to, I actually had to write down my entire process so that I could repeat it. I have done some of the pieces that I, my experiment pieces, let that sit a minute. If you're wondering this, this is just deli paper that I am turning into various little prints now. 
Okay. So, you can see how that red and silver came out. And I did three layers. The same process, thin of layer of silver, red, and then a little bit thicker red, just to really get that red behind there. And I did that three times on all of the surfaces that I wanted in that silver red. The insides of the sleigh are kind of like this, sort of. This, let me see if it'll focus, this is my combination of finding out what happens when you put wax on a jelly plate. It doesn't necessarily stick evenly. Um, those darker areas, the wax did a good job sticking in my first layer and the rest I've had to, I, I, I will be brushing on wax very carefully. This one won't be as bad. If you're wondering why I'm going through this whole process with a jelly plate, it's because I have this real crazy idea to to kind of go with like a vintage look. I'm actually did all this for the sole purpose of avoiding getting paint inside all of that scroll work on these pieces. Um. I'm hoping that'll kind of work. That's also why I'm doing it in the thinner layers of paint on a gel plate. I swear, I have a, uh, a method to my madness. So, I want to kind of talk through what I'm going to do. If I did all of this, it would probably really uh, lengthen this video. So I will put this list also on the blog. I do a wax and silver paint and then I press. And then I do silver paint and I press. And then I do a clear gesso, silver paint, press, silver press, silver press and hold. I weighed it down on that one. And then after that, silver and clear gesso on a part of the jelly plate that I did not have wax on. And then I let that dry 100% and went back and just put on a light coat of silver paint. And that's what that looks like. On that piece, this piece got a little bit This piece got a little bit better coverage with the wax, but I do kind of like how the wood sort of shows through and it stays kind of vintage looking. So I'm going to do the same thing on my inside of my sleighs, this piece and this piece that I have left. I'm going to figure out on these edges exactly which ones are going to be seen. This actually will be. And I may, I may just put some wax on a very small brush and wax along these edges. And I'll think about that while I'm doing this. But this that I just read off, that's the process that I'm going to I'll show it all, but I'm going to speed it up. But I will have this on the blog.
Okay. My layers of paint are dry. And in the areas that didn't pick up as much off the jelly plate like right here, I am going in and I'm adding a very light coating of the wax. And I don't mind that it's an inconsistent color. I still think that having an inconsistent color like that, having some wood show through, just adds more to the vintage look of everything. On the reindeer harness, which I did do the same way I did the insides of the sleigh and the bottom. On the edges, I also have just brushed on a light coating of, of that wax, but still letting some of the wood show through. Um, on this back piece, I filled in some of the areas and I have gone through and I'm using a very smaller stiff brush so it's easier to control and I'm going along the tops of this and I'll go along the top of this maybe the bottoms just to be sure that everything kind of has some kind of surface just like that and setting it off to dry and I will do the same thing on these and I'm going to let that wax set up and then I'm going to come and do the tracks on the sleigh. To do the tracks on my slate. I have everything else coated the way I want. So all I'm going to be doing now is silver paint. I don't know how many layers yet. I taped off at the line of the red paint and when I get to this side, I will tape off here because it will be various, slightly different shades of silver. So I still kind of want that definition. But I'm going to do silver paint and then see and then add on wax. And I think after all that set up, then I will be ready to at least put the sleigh together.
Okay, I guess you could say I did four coats of the silver paint. And I've already taped off this side because I'm going to leave the tape on until after I do whatever wax I decide on. Depending on how this dries, I may actually not do the wax. I'm not entirely sure yet. So, even though this side's going to be trickier, I am going to try to get it done and then I will just set them up like so to finish drying. And I did have to go grab a bottle of a different silver paint from my stash. I would, if I hadn't used silver paint in my advent calendar, I would have had more than enough. But I did, so here we are. Oh, here. But this one is actually from the December 20 mixed media kit. And well, it's not exactly the same, you can't really tell a difference on them when they're all together like this. So, since I'm not, you know, I haven't used the, the silver paint here and I'm not setting them side by side, so it's not really making a big difference. So I'm just going to finish up my sleigh and then let that paint dry and come back and see if there really is any wax that I want to add on. My sleigh is dried, glued together. I'm just going to set it off and work on the reindeer. Kind of, kind of have a little idea coming along here. I'm going to use my gel plate again. And I'm kind of going to do combination. I guess I'm going to put a very thin silver paint layer down. Very thin. And I'm only doing that just to add a little bit of shine to the deer. And I'm going to put some clear gesso on top of that. Clear because, well, it's clear. And 
then even though I used up my bottle between my advent calendar and this that I when I when I dyed my wood I used up the walnut stain distress oxide spray that came in the advent calendar kit but if you still have some left then um, this will work or this is what I'm doing I should say if you still have some left then you can try this or any color of just a spray that you want I'm just kind of trying to stick with the colors that were in the kits this month okay and then I'm gonna add a fine mist as fine as I can get I guess on here and I'm going to kind of try to roll that out just a little bit and that this is also what that paint and that gesso was for these sprays they kind of need something to stick to when they're on the jelly plate otherwise they just sort of uh, puddle up and now I'm going to do the same process I'm only planning on putting on one coat on each side since the main purpose of me dyeing these wood pieces was to color the deer so I'm really only hoping I need one coat of this. As you saw I did go in and add a second coat of that silver paint um, gesso and distress oxide except in the second coat I just made sure to have a rather even spraying and I didn't roll out the oxide spray and so now my deer are how I want them Except I kind of want to add a little something to their antlers. And for that, I'm going to grab up this jar of diamond dust that came in the mixed media kit. And I am going to brush on some clear gel yeah I wanted to make sure I didn't have something else I'm gonna use this gloss gel it's not a heavy gel just a regular gel regular consistency so I'm gonna give those antlers a coating of this gel and then sprinkle on the diamond dust.
since I already have my gloss gel out and the glitter going, I'm going to work on that. Little, those little foliage things that are in here. I have, I have two of these clusters. They were actually from the, I just had it, I think the, oh, the December, they were in the December 2018 mixed media kit, and, well, I remember, I remember that kit, and I had started working on a project that, well, it, it went very sideways, so I kind of put it off for a bit, um, but I do have these left from that. And they have glitter on them, so I took them outside and I kind of smacked them against each other to get loose glitter off. And then I sprayed them with a clear sealer. Um, nope. There. I used triple thick crystal clear glaze just to hold on loose glitter, okay? If you look at this one, if it'll focus, some of that glitter, uh, I guess stuck to that, probably static. It was actually dark outside when I did this, so I didn't really look. And on that little ornament there, it actually, um, made it foggy and it's been a, it's been a couple days so it should be dry but that's not really that big of a deal to me because I am going to brush on some gloss gel onto these ornaments maybe a little bit extra on the poinsettias and some of the foliage and then sprinkle on some of this diamond dust onto these as well. foliage off uh, hanging upside down where it won't touch anything until that medium dries and I will probably uh, go back and add more of that sealer to it just to keep that glitter on I'm not gonna seal these up this doesn't have as much and it's not quite as thick as it is on that foliage in some areas so I'm just tapping off the excess and I wanted to show you, I was kind of wondering if this would happen. I didn't know if that silver paint and that gesso would seal things up quite enough to keep that gel medium from reacting with the distress oxide. But you can kind of see here how it altered the color just a little bit on those antlers so it did sort of reactivate um, and react with that distress oxide and just sort of set the antlers off a little bit more in color than just adding the glitter okay now I am to putting the rest of the sleigh together. I'm going to get my deer put on the bar and then get the harness attached. Get it glued up and set that off to dry and let everything set off 
and just finish drying before I start adding my foliage in and whatever parts that I haven't quite figured out yet um, that I may also put on here from either my stash or maybe that bigger wreath from the kit. I'm not quite sure yet. is together my glitter on my antlers is set up and my little uh, clusters here are all ready to go in to the sleigh part here I was going to try to use the wires to help hold them up but it's really not that deep so I don't need them so I'm just going to trim them off at the base like so and then use some heavy gel I have my 3D matte gel here and just sort of pile it where I need it. Trying to keep it, I'm going to try to keep it away from the scroll work. I'm going to focus on the bottoms there and just start seeing how I can really arrange these and what I like in here. Those are in where I want them and if you saw my advent calendar then you remember I had used up the glitter snow on that calendar I had added to it I had expanded it and kind of made extra snow for myself and I saved it to kind of use up here some of it is going to be added to these pine cones a few of them I'm going to add it in um, I'm just going to brush it on lightly just to add a little bit more uh, snow covering to the pine cones maybe add a little bit more to this cluster but I'm going to pop my pine cones in first so I can touch them without getting it all over myself and just kind of stick them in like that and I'm going to use my 3d gel to hold them in place and after that then I'm going to come in with a uh, fan brush and just kind of add a little bit of snow and then I think I will add on some more sprinkling of this diamond dust and then let that set up um, maybe after a little while come back see how I might add in these wreaths maybe uh, but I am thinking of something Ooh that I uh, can do with these little bells here.
my snow all over and my glitter is dry the cluster at the bottom is not dry it's a it's a pretty big gob in there and I've actually had it fall out on me a couple times when I went to shake off any loose glitter but it popped back in anyhow oh I did also add on three of those bells onto the back it is really just a simple process I have just some uh, jewelry wire I don't know what gauge it was it's it's a little bit on the thinner side um, I was gonna try to find one of the ends I cut off there it's just um, just like that it's not the real real thin wire but that gives you an idea and I just added one of those bells to the center and I don't know if I can get it to focus with all of that going on and I have to kind of Maybe this will help. You can see, there you go. I just twisted it on, added a bell, twisted it so it wouldn't slide, and then put it through the top and just have it hanging there. I was going to put all five bells, but then I thought it would just look too crowded. So instead, I am just going to add this little bit here these pieces the stars and the ornaments and the lit snow they were in the Stamperia die cut pack that came in the advent calendar um, or came with the advent calendar the advent calendar kit so I'm just going to use my 3d gel and put these stars and these ornaments and the lit it snow on here and probably just stick these bells in at a couple of spots depend on on how I can get it looking so maybe just all together but that's really all that I have left and then I think this project is completed. sleigh is completed. I'm just going to set it off with all of that 3D gel set up and it'll be ready to display and good to go. Although by the time this video is being posted it is the end of the month but I'm sure it was set up and displayed and good to go. We'll say that. So, thank you for joining us here at Treasury. I hope you enjoyed this project and it gave you some ideas of what you can do with this month's kits. That the mixed media kit and a little bit from the advent calendar kit in here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. 
because if my calculations are correct, in two days, the January kit reveals should be coming up. Um, I hope you had a happy holiday season and a safe and happy new year. And I will see you in 2022.